What is happening? It's like, th this is the first video of 2022 and I, I feel like I just look so tired like, all the time. How do you stop it? Do the cucumber things work? Does anyone know? That's a legitimate question. Do you know, do the cucumber things work? Can you let me know? We need to move on. Got a package today. Uh, look, I know what's inside this. You know what's inside this. It was right in the title and thumbnail, but there's something about this that actually makes it really interesting. A lot of traditional gaming companies like HyperX, Razer, Logitech, they've made their way, they've tiptoed into the streaming industry by releasing things like mics. They've, they've all got mics. Some have capture cards. Um, Corsair went full send and just bought Elgato. But if you held a gun to my head, which don't, uh, and you asked me which of these companies I thought was gonna kind of be the next one to go full send, my guess would probably be Logitech. It just makes sense. They have a decade more experience in webcams than anyone else. They bought blue microphones three years ago, then they bought Streamlabs a year later, which I'm wondering if they're regretting that at the moment. Anyway, this is clearly another step towards creating a full streamer ecosystem. So let's unbox the Logitech Litra, oh, Freak. Litra, Litra Glow. Litra, Litra Glow. I'm not even gonna reshoot that. We're gonna leave that there. Which retails for $59.99. So almost half the price of the next kind of main competitor, the Key Light Air. And I will be comparing this to other lights to answer really the only three questions you need to know about lights as a streamer. One, does it get bright enough? Two, does it look good on the face? Things like how's the diffusion, right? The quality of the light. And three, how is the usable experience? Is it a smart light or what is it? What's the convenience factor, right? Let's go. All right, while I'm slicing this open, why don't I take this opportunity to encourage you to uh, slice the like button? It works. Helps out a ton too. Also, let's sponsor this video. This video has two sponsors. First sponsor is me and my YouTube channel where I live stream, link down below youtube.com slash Harris Heller, where we unbox stuff and we talk about gear, all the things we do on this channel, uh, except live. Huge shout out to that sponsor. I paid myself thousands for that spot. Second sponsor is Streambeats. If you're looking for copyright free music to use in your live streams or in your YouTube videos, Streambeats is the best free service you can possibly find. It's convenient, it's free, it's on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, all the places you listen to music. It's just there and uh, we have a bajillion genres and you can download them for your videos on streambeats.com. So link to that down below also. All right, let's dive into this. Sent me two, that was very nice of them. Oh yeah, disclaimer, um, they didn't pay me anything. They did send me these for free, but they don't get to see this video before it goes live at all. I will be sharing my completely honest opinion. Desktop app control, that was actually a big question. I was wondering if it was gonna have any kind of like smart controls. Okay, so this is supposed to mount right on your monitor. Let's open one up. Okay, all right. Oh, it's very light. <laughs> it's a light and it's light. It is late. All right, so that's how it stands on the monitor. Let's go ahead and pull my laptop out here. Let's give it a try. Can we put it on the side? Can we get a little bit of a, oh, it turns. Okay. All right, it's kind of nice. Don't hate that. Now, so it clearly works without any kind of fancy setups or clamps or anything. Can you remove this? Perfect, okay, and it looks like it uses a standard quarter inch jack, just like your camera does. So, I mean, you could even technically use the Elgato multi-mount. Let me double check, one sec. I'm sure Logitech will be thrilled. Hey, check out this new product by Logitech. Let's set it up with Elgato stuff. Really, I'm like 99% sure it's the exact same threads. I'm mostly just doing this for a demonstration. It's not for me, it's, it's for you. The wall mount that I love so much. And look at this. Yeah, I can mount this thing right to a wall if I wanted. Cool. It's got a little USB type C port on the back. It looks like it connects directly to the PC. You don't have to have like a wall power supply. That might be a good thing, might be a bad thing, depending on who you are. But it's removable, so it can be as long as you want. Always a great thing. They learned from their stream cam. I'm sure they love me bringing that up. Here is the cable. I was about to plug this into my laptop. I'm like, nope, nope, no USB type A. Do I have a USB-C to C cable 
anywhere, I'm sure I do. This whole video is just me standing up and grabbing stuff. But I do appreciate the computer side of this being type A. I mean, I've never seen a motherboard with more than like one type C port on it, so. Yeah, all around, I'm happy with every choice. I'm gonna have this facing you. I'm sorry if this blows out your eye drums. Do I have to hit the power button? Ah, you idiots! On the back here, here we go. We got the power button in the middle, because I am stupid. And then on the right or left side, depending on which way it's facing, on this side here, you have brightness going up and down. Ooh, here, let's do this. So, look at that, dim. Bright. How many different settings is it? We got brightest, two, three, four, five, five. Five different steps. And then we have warmth. So here we got a sun, so I'm sure this is gonna make it more yellow. Ooh, look at that. And then look at that. All right, let's take a look. If we plug this in, do we have Logitech G software? No, I did not prepare for this video. Not gonna lie though, these, these buttons feel nice. You got a nice crisp, click to them. All right, being real, I'm assuming that they're not adding the functionality into this, into G-Hub, until, uh, until they release it in two days, so that's fair. They gave me a screenshot of apparently what it'll look like. I'm gonna screenshot it, I'm gonna toss it up right, right over here. You got that one, Scott? So yeah, that's why I thought it was in G-Hub, because it is in G-Hub, it'll, it'll, it'll look just like this. So here's the deal with this thing. Here's why I wanna test the brightness, because while this is significantly cheaper than any of the Elgato lights or anything, it's 60 bucks, which honestly, some of the really cheap lights are like 60 bucks. So this is really well priced. The question is, does it get bright enough? Because uh, lumens, by the way, lumens are the, uh, the unit of brightness. Just to give an example, the Elgato Key Light has 160 LEDs on it and it is 2800 lumens. The Elgato Key Light Mini, nope, Elgato Key Light Air has half the amount of LEDs at 80 LEDs and then you can probably guess it outputs uh, 1400 lumens. Now this has, they don't tell you how many LEDs but in the picture it looks like it is 18 LEDs and it outputs 250 lumens, which is significantly lower. It's like 10% of the full size Elgato key light. However, I rarely set my large key light above like 15%. So I think maybe this is actually a really great cost effective way. We just have to test it. Let's take a look. Let's see how bright it is. Here's what we'll do. We'll compare this to the key light. I don't, I don't need this anymore to my light. And I wanna see if you can see a difference. We're already getting ahead of ourselves. Let's let's test the brightness first. Let's, where are we at? That's the brightest. Set it on the lowest. Lowest is not gonna cut it, okay? We'll go up little by little here. Next setting. Next setting. Next setting. And full brightness. Let me move it a little further away. It's kind of close. Thoughts. We're also in kind of a, a bright room. Let me be more realistic here. We're gonna make, we're gonna give this every chance it deserves. I got like these, these, you know, $400 lights behind me that are overpowering it. So let's turn those down like a typical gaming room that's a little bit darker. Turn up the camera to a still reasonable level. All right, what are your thoughts? I actually think I might be, I might have overdone it a little bit. Let's turn it back down a little bit. I think the brightness is actually fine. I think my my concern is might be valid here. We might need two. One moment. So here's the deal with this. Because you can actually change. I, keep this on me for this. Because you can change the warmth of these, it means of the 18 LEDs, nine of them are the cool color at around 7,000 Kelvin. Nine of them are the warm orangish color at about 2,700 and then you kind of blend between the two, meaning you really only get, you never get full brightness out of the LEDs. I'm wondering if Logitech ever has plans to release another version of these that's just daylight which is 5600K, which is like standard for, like this, this giant light in front of me, this super fancy one that I showed you a minute ago, you can't blend the warmth. It's just daylight. It's just 5600K. They make these, uh, like this one right here, you can actually blend. One, that's what most creators need anyway. And two, 
Most creators, especially ones on Twitch, don't know what temperature their lights should be. So this keeps them from making mistakes and gives them a brighter and cheaper light. So it'd be really cool if Logitech released a, 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 a daylight only version, you know? All right, so this is a typical streamer setup like this. What are your thoughts? Are they all the way up? I think they both, I think they're both all the way up. You aim them, depending on how you want the shadows, that's too high, maybe right above the monitors, like right like that. How's that look? What do you think? Compared to a typical gamer setup with like two other lights, that's not bad at all. That's totally doable. If you wanted a two light setup to properly light your face, this will definitely do the trick. It's hard to tell on the tiny little monitor, but I definitely think 250 lumens will be just fine. You will, for the most part, have to turn it all the way up. The question is how noticeable, let's turn this one off, how noticeable is the directness, you know, the, the surface area being this small compared to a larger surface area like a full-blown key light, and then compared to something like this gigantic umbrella I've got here. Just, that's not because any streamer uses that. I don't even use that for streaming, it's just, so you can see the difference, and we'll put them side by side. It would make more sense to compare the Litra Glow to the Keylight Air, since they're the closest in price, $60, $100 last time I checked at least, but there, I, I don't think it's dramatic enough of a difference for you to notice in a video like this, versus, uh, let's pull this down here, this difference in, uh, in surface area. So be aware that this is $60 versus $200 and then versus, which one is this? This is the 200D. Either way, the umbrella is like three to $400. So the whole light setup, this is like a $700 light setup, $260 light setup. That's what we're comparing here. All right, take a look at the size differences here. We have the Litra, we have the key lights, and then we have <laughs> uh, the Amaran from Aperture. All right, so let's line these up next to each other. Let's crop this one in a little bit. Let's throw it to the left. Crop this over. And hey, look at that. So we're looking at it. The left Harris is gonna look a little bit drunk. I can't find a shot where, where I look good in all three. Being real, there's not a ton of difference between the left two. On the right one is when you start to see uh, first of all, the light is a little bit higher on the far right one, which is why you see a little bit more shadowing under the eyes, but you also notice we have less shadowing on the opposite side of the nose. It's a little bit darker on these two, and especially, you just get a lot more, it goes, it wraps around the face a little bit more. You don't get as many bright spots, but I'm surprised at how little of a difference I see between these two. Really the main difference between these two is I had to turn up the camera a little bit more for Logitech because even though my Elgato light was only at like 15%, it was still brighter than the Logitech light. So I only had to turn the ISO from like 640 up to 800. It wasn't a drastic change but I did have to do that. And so while yes, there is a difference, I, I would say looking at this freeze frame I'm looking at right now, there is a noticeable difference between the Elgato light and the Litra. But the question you have to ask yourself is, uh, does it change the experience for the viewer? Are they gonna lose viewership over it? Someone going to not subscribe or, or follow due to the difference there? And does it change the experience for the streamer? The light in general, not just the quality, but the light in general. The experience for the viewer I would say probably not. I don't think this is going to make any difference for the viewer. In fact, just going from the tiny screen over here next to the camera to this screen, I'm actually impressed. It looks better than I thought it was gonna look. But man, Harris on the right looks like he's got three kids. He only has one kid. What happened to this, Harris? Drink some caffeine, man. Get some sleep. But as for the experience for the streamer, I think that's where things are gonna change a little bit. In two main areas, one, for mounting. The Elgato Keylight comes with a, a desk clamp stand, and even the Keylight Air, which is $100, comes with an actual desk stand. The, the, the Litra, where they obviously shaved a bunch of the cost off, is by only having it come with something that stands on the top of your monitor, which works fine, especially since the top is fully articulating up here and you can make it aim in any direction. But you don't get a ton of flexibility and I imagine some people are gonna want a little bit more of a robust stand which is gonna add to the cost if you wanna go out and grab one. So 
that's gonna be a little bit more on you. If this stand works just fine for you, then you won't have a problem with it. On top of that, another one of the nice quality of life upgrades to a more expensive light that we're talking about here is being able to control it from something like a stream deck, being able to turn it on and off, being able to control different presets or just turn up and down the brightness or whatever it is. Most of the time I just turn mine on and off. And while you can control it from the app, which helps out quite a bit so you don't have to reach around and hit buttons on the back of these things every time you wanna change something, Logitech hasn't released something like the stream deck at least not yet to clarify the point I'm trying to make if turning your light on and off from a stream deck is a game changer for you something to keep in mind you know but in terms of like brightness and quality this is actually a pretty fantastic light I'm thinking Logitech maybe has found the sweet spot of only packing what you need into it to make it as bright as people actually need. No reason to overpower a light and make it too expensive. I'll be of course linking to it in the description down below if you're looking to pick one up, but all around, fantastic light. I'm impressed. You let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think it's uh, cheap? Do you think it looks okay? Do you think it will change the experience for the viewers or the streamers in any way? Let me know. Hit the like button if you got this far, because I know if you watched this far, you actually did like the video. You might as well hit that like button or hit the dislike button. I don't care. I can't see how many dislikes there are. And as always, happy streaming.